Okay. Okay. People are going to start to come in. Okay, good. Come Hello, in. everybody. Come on in. Hello, everybody. I want to introduce you to a very special moment. This is this is the camera, by the way, over there. Oh, okay. To a very special woman, Sherry Mandel. It is a real privilege. Hello, Barco. See, we talk to people. Hello, tour guide Aaron. He's just in here. Um, Sherry Mandel is a very, very special woman. And I am privileged to, to be sitting here talking to her. And hopefully you guys will be just as inspired as I am. I don't know who remembers my scope from two weeks ago. But, oh, it's very funny. One of the people. Hi from Aaron Schaefer. Yeah. Aaron Schaefer? There's yeah. Sheva, the tour yeah. guide. Yeah. That's Aaron Schaefer. Shalom Bogart. Uh, so two weeks ago, I interviewed Sherry's husband, Rabbi Seth Mandel. This is very funny. Someone called him a Jewish uh, Santa Claus. Someone, so I don't remember who it was. What are you, you guys? Didn't tell me that. What are the guys? Yeah, he kept that going. When, when are you bringing back Jewish Santa Claus? Uh, well, if you're one, whoever it is who said that, this is this That's is funny. Jewish Santa Claus's husband. Hello from Alabama. Thank mm. you. Hello, Corey in Michigan. That's how we knew someone was following from Australia. Anyone, if anyone's following from Australia, they're going to on a trip to Australia to talk. So uh, two weeks ago, I interviewed Sherry's husband, Rabbi Seth Mandel, and it was uh, unbelievable. Sherry and Rabbi Mandel, they live here in Israel in a community called Tekoa out in Gush Etzion, near where I live. Seth and I used to learn Hasidus together when I lived in Tekoa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. great. I know. Hello, Ima Jap, thanks for being here. So, uh, Sherry and Seth. Hello, Richmond, Virginia. Hello, I used Cynthia. To live in Richmond. Seriously, C yeah, Cynthia. I taught at VCU. She thought she taught at VCU. <laughs> so uh, you see the interactivity. It's, yeah, it's, it's nice. Starting, it's cool. Um, Solange, how are you doing? Oh, I know Solange. You know Solange? Yeah. Ah, so yeah. Solange is very yeah. big on this is Periscope. Hello, hello from uh, Ohio. Hello in, in New Jersey. So, you know, Cynthia goes well from. Uh, <laughs> From that place you were talking about. Chicago's oh. watching, in the house, amazing. Solange is saying hi. hi. So I, I I have to let her speak. I wanna yeah, I wanna fine. let I wanna let Sherry speak. Your brother was Seth's roommate many years ago in Nachlaot. That's Radio I... Link. Radio Link lives in Modi'in. Oh, okay. Ah, fit. Seattle loves you. Uh Thank we're not you. we're not going into politics now, Vanilla, I'm sorry. Another <laughs> time. Hello, France. Interview uh, Hassi yeah. Patassi, right mother to to who oh, lost her her, her oh. son to unfortunately Arab terrorists 15 years ago. So Seth and Seth and Sherry, Arlene's brother-in-law. Oh, hey. <laughs> so Seth and Sherry live here in Israel um, and they're doing so much good today for so many people, helping families, children, and mothers who experience tragedy, all types of tragedy, even though a major type of tragedy is those who are affected by families affected by terrorism because they lost their son, Kobe, 15 years ago to to terrorists was her son in the IDF her son was 15 years old at the time when 13. he sorry 13 years old when he was murdered All right now we can get out bye um do you have other you have, you have you have other sons right yeah but he was the oldest kobe he was the oldest so he was okay so it's, it's reported wrong it's a, oh, okay so now first, i want you to hear sherry's story she's got I, I, she's got a fabulous story sherry comes from long island right sherry sharma i asked sherry to tell me about her like her story like how how she and her husband um vanilla another time not now i will deal with that i talk about that but not now so 1984 Helsinki, thank you. Tell her we love her and we were sorry for a terrible loss. Thank you. It's wonderful to support. And I think that's part of Sherry's story. Sherry, just, you know what? Let's start with your book. Sherry just wrote a new book called The Road to Resilience. Right. Right? And I'll tweet the link to her new book. The Road to Resilience. What is resilience, Sherry? And why did you write a book about it? Okay, I wrote a book because it's very misunderstood. And I wanted to explain what what the Jewish view of resilience was. Okay. So yeah. it's I did the seven spiritual steps of resilience. Right. Each step actually starts with C, and um, mo, mo, the root of the word resilience, the etymology, is to leap back. So okay. to go back to who you were. But what I realized is that, and what I've uh, observed is that resilience is becoming greater. Because in Judaism, we never want to go back right. to who we were. We always want to become greater. And even when it's so hard, we can use every experience to become greater. Even when it's... Each and every one of us experiences tragedy. I was speaking English. 
<laughs> no, no, no. I'm explain. No, because I know who I'm talking to. You can go. Someone just gave you a nice compliment, but we don't need those type of compliments here. Um, uh, uh, yet each and every one of us experiences tragedy on a personal level, all types of tragedy. Now, what Sherry's book is about affects each and every one of us, the road to resilience, because each, how, how do you overcome? How do you overcome the tragedy? And some people say resilience, so it's bouncing back. But there is no bouncing back because you don't go backwards. Right. Also, I don't like the word overcome. It's more like you become. It's more wow. like overcome. You don't wow. you know, you bring it into your, it's with you like Sunday night. So I feel it in my body. Even if I wasn't aware that it was now, just the time of year, right. something happens inside of all bereaved people where you experience this chasm of loss, this endless loss, and because there's no going back. Okay. That was so deep, Sherry. That was <laughs> so deep. The second you experience loss, you you don't overcome it. You become because you have to well, incorporate that, that loss. loss no, no, no. You because to... you have to over, you have to incorporate that loss into your new being. Right. That's the loss because overcoming means you're you're, you're putting it aside right. in a sense. But right. you have to incorporate it. Learn how to incorporate you, and become this you new you. You have to learn to integrate your right. new your new um, your new self. Right. Because also people don't understand. Like, right. Part of you dies. You're, you're, it's like a, de a death and you have to be reborn and you're reborn you, it's because you have to become somebody else. Right. You weren't. Wow. Okay. That is your new book that just came out, right? Just a few right. weeks ago. So the road to resilience, I will tweet the link. No person should have to lose a child in a lifetime. That is not true. Unfortunately. Right. Um, so I'll tweet the link to her connection really bad watch the, re watch the replay I'm sorry about the connection the Twitter guards are not working for us as well as we want them to right now but um, yeah definitely come in and watch the replay so I'll tweet the link to her new book Road to Resilience now you also wrote you got it I'm doing that radio link you also wrote a, a book called the broken the blessing of a broken heart the blessing of a broken heart that was Sherry's first book and can you tell us what that first book was about Sherry it's the first year after Kobe was killed, and... One second. I'm so sorry for you praying in Jerusalem. She said she lost her 40-year-old daughter yeah. this year to cancer. Yeah, it's always so, horrible. First book? It's the first year after Kobe was killed. It's sort of like it was a spiritual mystery and a spiritual journey. And I had we had a lot of... First of all, before Kobe was killed, there were a lot of, like... Story right. that I felt like I needed to keep telling and I needed to write them. And then things that happened during the year that were sort of mysterious and spiritual and almost like signs from heaven. And wow. We had a lot of signs from heaven that wow. year. And as I wrote, I kept getting more and more signs. And I'm, I'm not that kind of person. Right. I'm really not. But it was like birds fell on my head. Literally. Literally birds yeah. falling on you. Yeah. Bird would die right in front of my feet. Birds hit the windshield of my car. And then there was a bird's nest right outside my house. A lot went on. You, you have to read the book to, wow. to know about all the bird stories. So that's... And now there are a lot of people who tell me that oh, I'm wow. not the only one. Oh, but I wow. use the Jewish um, context because uh, they say that in Gan Eden, in the Garden of Eden, the highest place in the world is called the um, bird's nest. Really? Yeah. I never in heard Kabbalah. that. In Kabbalah. Right. I went and studied Kabbalah. And in that bird's nest, they say there are pictures of the first and second temple. Right. And then pictures of all the children who died, Kiddush Hashem, that died sanctifying God's name. Wow. And so after I learned that, I felt, wow, there's something, there's something bigger than me going on here. Right. Wow, that's unbelievable. So again, two books that Sherry wrote. One, first one. The Road to Resilience. The, road oh, no. to re the first one is The Blessing of a Broken Heart. The Blessing heart. of a Broken Heart and, and the, road the Road to, resili to resilience. resilience. So I'll tweet both of those links so all of you can be able to look at them and hopefully purchase them. Okay, you'll definitely be inspired and enriched both on Amazon. I'll tweet those Amazon links. Now, you have a bad connection. Sorry, Susan, come in for the replay. I don't know why there's a bad connection. Any Anyone who has a bad connection, just come in for the replay. Now, 
you and your husband took, this is unbelievable, folks. They, 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 Sherry and her husband took their tragedy and turned it into so much good that helps so many, uh, so many people in, the, in, in Israel, so many families who've also been affected by tragedy and bereaved mothers and children. One of their famous programs is Camp Kobe, a special camp just for the siblings of, uh, that's like, Un unbelievable. You, you, well, you were in a place of, of hurt. No, but we saw with our own children that they had no place to turn. They're helpful. Right. But really, to deal with this, with trauma and grief, a lot of times you need a community. Right. And so with kids, their friends don't really understand. And they don't want to turn to their parents. Right. So, and we wanted to do something that would be good for kids, but also that Kobe would have liked. He was only 13. So, right. Because he was a kid. And we wanted to do something that was fun. And that was needed. And right. there was no camp in Israel like that at the time. Right. And unfortunately, there are so many. They didn't have an or, outlet. Or parents. And the parents. Mother, or the father. Right. So I'm going to let Sherry go because she has a family to get home to, as I do. But right now, the Sherry and Rabbi Mandel's, the foundation that they set up, the Kobe Mandel Foundation, is running a campaign, a crowdfunding campaign, to raise funds for all the fabulous programs they're doing. So if you guys want to help, it's very easy. Every donation you give is doubled. You give a dollar, it turns into two. You give ten dollars, it turns into twenty. And what I say last time? You give a thousand dollars, it turns into two thousand dollars. I'll tweet the link afterwards. It's on a website called causematch.com forward slash COVID and helping so many families, so many mothers, so many children. Um, you all can join in with their families and children. So I'll, I'll uh, thank you, Shari, for your testimony from Praying Jerusalem. Thank you. So thank you to all of you for being here and for listening and commenting. Play It'll all be there for whatever reason. They work on the replays even when the connection is not good. And Sherry, thank you so much for your time and sharing sharing your story with us. Thank you. Oh, someone from Mexico. We got the whole world watching. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Abitech. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Until next time. I'm from Jerusalem. Bye, folks.